Thank you, it. Chair. Um, Minister, look, at it's, I actually find that a beggar's belief that at a point where we have so many serious road accidents, you know, that we haven't addressed the RSA in I suppose we, we need to reprimand them. The Minister stated previous to you that they had been before the Transport Committee. And I am going to endorse Deputy Carol Nolan's request that they be brought back before the committee. We're talking about driver testing. That's what we're talking about. But we should be talking about all of the road safety issues and all of the deaths that are occurring on the road. And that have increased, as a matter of fact, since the RSA was formed dramatically at that. And we have a CEO, Sam Wade, who seems to be elusive. I put in a PQ a month ago that was referred to the RSA and I haven't received an answer to it yet. And it's a young man who is looking for a scribe to complete his CPC case studies for a rigid truck. And at a time when we're at full employment, I think every effort should be made to assist. Now, whilst the scribe is available to him for his theory test and was, it's not available to him when he has to provide written case studies. That really doesn't make any sense, Minister, and I'd ask that that be addressed rapidly so as that this young man can move on with his career before he emigrates, like so many others. And I'd agree with all of my, co uh, concur with all the deputies who have said that our housing crisis, as well as the fact that you can't get a driving licence, is attributing to our emigration. And I'd like to see it halted as soon as possible. The other day I did a radio interview with the former Minister Shane Ross. And the issue was that we had a very serious issue with the policing of our roads in relation to drunk driving and to speeding and to drug driving. And that speeding was primarily the cause of so many ac accidents. I didn't agree entirely. While speeding is certainly a factor, it is only one factor because we have many issues. One would be the fact that we're not testing drivers in a timely fashion. 30, 10 weeks uh, is what the target is. We're actually 30 weeks, according to the minister, but in Wexford, we're 32 weeks. And that is just unacceptable. As well as the fact that we now have so much regulation with regard to, from the National Parks and Wildlife, with regard to how we maintain hedgerows, particularly at the roadside. It's just unacceptable. I mean, the council should take it into their own hands, each county council, that where hedges need cutting on the roadside, they should be cut. There are no birds nesting on the roadside. We have 6,000 kilometres of hedgerow that exist all over this country and we should at least make sure that we make provision for road safety when it comes to our hedgerows. Equally, I would say road surfacing, it was mentioned by another colleague, our roads are not being maintained to a standard. We have a serious issue now with water on roads in every part of the country, particularly rural Ireland. There was a time when you had a county council worker who went around on a Honda 50 with a shovel in his hand cleaning out drains and he did the country a great service. Well, unfortunately, we don't seem to have either the workforce or we no longer instruct them to do this job because the weather we've had for the whole year has been atrocious and you can see it and it is evident as a contributory factor to many of the road accidents we've had. But I would ask Minister that we do everything possible to remedy this. We can do better and I hate to hear things from government departments and, and government colleagues that say the information is because often the information is very different to the situation and I'd like to ask government colleagues to clarify when they get information that it actually fits the situation. Thank you.